Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 13, lesson 5. Relate area and perimeter. Uh, page number is 851. Okay. Uh, I hope all of you are ready with your books and pencils in your hands to take the lesson. And don't forget to subscribe my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad and also press the bell icon to get notified uh, whenever I upload a new video. So you guys don't need to wait for me to share the link. Okay, let us start today's lesson. Relate area and perimeter. Uh, boys, you guys already know from the last two lessons about the area and the perimeter. Okay, so today we will compare them on the same figure. Let's say the first example here. Uh, this one okay for example this figure here this rectangular figure what is its width one foot and its length 12 foot so you guys know that if this one is 12 so of course that is also 12 and if this one is 1 so the opposite side that will also be 1 so to find the perimeter what we do we add all the sides so what are all the sides 12 plus 1 plus 12 plus 1 that is equal to 26 but to find the area I'm writing it here on the sides we just multiply two sides sides times sides so 1 times 12 that is equal to 12 square we write sq which means square and the unit is feet here from here it's feet okay why we write square for area because we are finding how many square units are inside this rectangular figure and for perimeter actually we are uh, we are finding the boundaries the length of the boundaries okay so we add all the boundaries in perimeter here and for area we multiply length 12 times 1 length times width okay so why we write square feet to because we are looking for how many square units are inside and which unit feet so we write feet here. I hope you guys understand this thing. Uh, let me clear the screen. Okay. Now, the second figure similarly. They're writing it here, boys. The first figure, they write it down here. 1 times 12 the area 12 okay under that it's 2 so the 2 is also opposite side 6 down 6 up for perimeter you will add all the sides for area you multiply them 2 times 6 that is 12 here okay for this figure 3 and 4 3 times 4 that is 12 basically they are telling you that if you have the area of 12 square feet like here you see the lengths and the widths are different these all are the lengths and these all are the widths they are different numbers but the total area you are finding it's 12 okay so it is possible we will do this thing in this chapter here similarly here 4 times 3 in opposite way of this figure 4 times 3 this one opposite way of this figure it was 2 times 6 this one is 6 times 2 here and this one was 1 times 12 here so if we draw it in opposite way it's 12 times 1 here got it boys I hope you understand this thing let's move to the next page again here if we add all the sides 1 plus 6 plus 1 plus 6 it is 14 
but when we find the area 1 times 6 that is 6 square units you know we are looking for how many square units inside okay the same thing again here we add all the sides to find the perimeter and multiply the two sides to find the area in square units here again add all the sides to find the perimeter and multiply two sides to find the area okay the largest from this table the largest uh, the greatest area is 12 square units this one and which is 3 units by 4 units 3 by 4 and the area is 12 square units okay let us move down here uh, boys look at this one now they give you a question like an area of 9 square units so you have to find out the possible dimensions what are the possibilities of the figure so let me draw one for you so you guys understand let me draw first one 1 times 9 it can be uh, let me choose the marker first okay it can be 1 times 9 it can be a square 3 times 3 and it can be opposite of this one a longer one 1 times 9 similarly here it can be 1 and 14 it can be 2 and 7 it can be opposite of this one 7 times 2 all these are giving us 14 and all these are giving us 9 so the possibilities of uh, the area the dimension possible dimensions of rectangle for 9 square units these three are the possibilities and these four are the possibilities for 14 let me clear the screen and move to the next page okay the same thing again here uh, if the area is 16 what are the possibilities 1 times 16 is also 16 2 times 8 16 4 times 4 16 8 times 2 16 and 16 times 1 16 similarly 20 square units 1 times 20 2 times 10 4 times 5 5 times 4 10 times 2 20 times 1 all will give you 20 down here if you find the perimeter 4 4 4 4 add all of them 16 and to find the area 4 times 4 16 uh, to find the perimeter here 2 2 8 8 if you add all of them 20 and 2 times 8 that is 16 to find the area okay here they're asking the difference between these two their perimeters are different 16 and 20 okay both have the same area 16 and 16 let us move to the next page okay here uh, they're making a banner a basketball banner a rectangular one the area is 24 square feet so you have to find out all of the possibilities 1 times 24 2 times 12 3 times 8 4 times 6 6 times 4 8 times 3 12 times 2 and 24 times 1 these all are the possibilities okay and there again here they're asking which one have the greatest perimeter so of course the greatest perimeter the greatest one 1 times 24 because you will add 1 plus 24 then 1 plus 24 or 24 times 1 these two have the greatest perimeter I hope you guys understand the lesson and if you understand the lesson don't forget to like this video and also subscribe my channel learn math with Mr. Saad. Thank you so much guys have a nice day uh, and boys uh, don't forget to send me your homeworks through Pioneer page number 855 and 56 thank you so much